Hello, good morning. Uh, today we have Joe Pettypass with us. Uh, Joe, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and your history in the industry? Um, sure. Um, I'm a 50-year-old male. I've been in the oil field industry for, I guess I drove my first black truck in 2000, so it's been a couple days. A um, little bit involved with uh, a little bit of everything in the oil field, uh, coming from the back truck all the way up to high pressure work, um, pigging lines to clean them for clients, uh, all kinds of different stuff. Uh, oh, I'm a grandfather of seven grandkids. Uh, I make sure, to the best of my ability, I stay safe every day. Um, it's a big thing in our culture now. Um, to be safe, uh, to follow the procedures, to follow all that stuff. So that's something that uh, I'm all about. Um, so how long have you been with Bison and how's your experience been here with this company? Um, I was one of the original few at Bison. I uh, started with them August the 3rd, 2017, so just over uh, two years. Um, when I first got here, it was very small, very personable, and it still is with the growing that we're doing, but it, uh, it was very small. Um, the ideas that I heard and were thrown around was something that I, I agreed with, and uh, I envisioned that the industry is turning towards that direction, and uh, yeah, I just... I right away enjoyed the whole overall atmosphere and the overall attitude that Bison has towards safety and training and competency. And uh, it was a path that uh, seeing over the years all the shortcuts people take and how you know unsafe they really are being uh, and then coming to a company that wants people to be safe. It's a, it's a good thing and I'm glad I made the decision to come. Yeah, I'm really glad you really touch on those core values of safety training and competency. Uh, can you think of a time in your experience in this industry where people have gone beyond their competency and comfort level? Oh, very much so. Um, I, I know I've done it myself. Uh, years and years ago, it was, you know, it was a get her done type attitude. There was, there wasn't really much of a thought of safety. Sure, safety was there, but safety was in the office and safety was part of the paperwork and it was a pe pencil pusher's position and it really wasn't taken seriously in the field. And uh, the way the industry is going now, um, and, and as it should, it's you're, you're responsible for your own actions and uh, there's procedures and policies and uh, paperwork in place to ensure that uh, you're competent at what you're doing, uh, and you understand what you're doing. You're not ever, you're not always going to be the most experienced hand, mm -hmm. but at least with the proper training, you can, you can easily, more easily absorb what you're learning. So um, that's the big thing I like about Bison is they're striving to, to make sure that people enter the workforce not necessarily experienced, but equipped to handle the obvious hazards to an experienced person, which wouldn't be obvious to an unexperienced person. So. Yeah, so, you know, there's been huge changes in the industry over the, the few years. I imagine you've seen a ton of it in, in your time. What would be a message you wish you could have heard when you were starting out that you would share with the green hand today? I guess the biggest thing that I like to say to the new guy is, don't be scared to take the time to understand, to the best of your ability, what's going on around you. Um, the way the supervisors and stuff have been trained nowadays, they're trained not to be aggressive towards the new guy. They're, they're now being trained to, to be like that mother hand who brings you underneath their wing. And, uh, it's years ago I noticed that if you mentioned, you know, do I, maybe I don't know how to do this, you don't want to mention that years ago because then you're, you're, you're saying, 
to your, your fellow workers, oh, I don't know what I'm doing, and therefore you were judged. Nowadays, the, the industry is turning where if you don't ask questions, that's when they judge you. Because if you're not learning every day and you figure you know it all, you shouldn't be up there with everybody else. Well, Joe, um, personally, you've been a great mentor to me out in the field and helping me with my journey with bison. I just want to say thank you for your time. Oh, you're welcome. Anytime.